for the books. Yeah. It's crazy, man. We have had crazy, 10 man. pregnant women in Dallas test positive for the Zika We've virus. We've had what? How many? 10. 10? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I don't know if these are all women who traveled to foreign ports and ended up getting this virus. With all the talk about Zika, and I think the biggest concern now are people that are going over there to the Olympics, to Rio for the Olympics, and acquiring the Zika virus. Right? That's like the biggest stink right now. Yeah, that's the biggest fear. Right. That's what they're con- they're all like, concerned about. Like athletes. Yeah. Here's my question concerning the Zika virus. Okay. It says 10 pregnant women in Dallas tested positive. What if you're not pregnant? Did, is that going to if and, and you carry the virus? You're a hey, carrier. Are you pregnant or just fat? And you're a carrier. And let's say ten years from now you want to get pregnant. Does this still affect you, or does it only affect you when you're pregnant? Because all these athletes are saying, "I'm going to freeze my sperm." <laughs> seem impossible. That does seem impossible. You know, you know what I'm asking though. Yeah. Does it affect only because I mean all these people are planning for the future. But I thought it only got you. Like, how, how do you not get rid of it? I don't know. I live for today, man. I'm not planning for the future. It says the women had all traveled to other countries and contracted the virus from mosquitoes. Or, these damn mosquitoes. That's why we need mosquito Steve. We do. More Now more than ever. He's probably the one you should ask about all this. Yeah. I mean, he's mosquito Steve is kind of a superhero. Steve. Well, there's Spider-Man. And Mosquito Steve. Give me Mosquito Steve if those two ever cross paths. And Scuba Steve. <laughs> Leave him out of it. Uh, yeah, been linked to severe birth defects, other serious health complications. No one has contracted Zika from mosquitoes in the Dallas area. Largest outbreak, Central America. Okay. The, symptoms, uh, the, the virus carries symptoms such as a fever, joint pain, and red eyes. Uh, yeah, and it leads to small-headed babies, microcephaly. But, oh, it says there's no vaccine to prevent Zika. Mm -hmm. But again, what about later on in life? Can dudes get Zika? Yeah. And then you give it to the woman, and then it goes to the baby? I think so, yeah. I mean, if I've got Zika, how am I ever going to know? Is just Zika a, just that, another form of AIDS? Are you just, are that's you just why a carrier? Guy, that's why guys that are going to the Olympics are, some of them are going to the sperm bank before so they don't get that fresh sperm, new sperm in there and they don't get infected sperm in Rio. We kind of mentioned that. You did? Yeah. Well, I'm just, I wanted to tell you again because <laughs> we have new listeners all the time. You're right. You're right. Every three seconds, I mean, we acquire on. over a million new exactly. listeners. Yes. That You're was brilliant. The ticket, by the Thank way. Thank you. That was brilliant. The ticket. And Ty said fresh sperm. <laughs> Gosh. Gross. Exactly. That's all right, Ty. Keep doing what you're doing over there. Okay. It doesn't seem to stay in the bloodstream. I'm on Wiki now. Two to seven days, but it can stick around in the urine and cement for longer. Seem impossible. Yes, we know. Because Zika can stay in semen for cement. at least two months. Seem impossible. The CDC recommends men wait six months after the first symptoms of Zika before having unprotected well, sex. What are the symptoms of Zika? It's like a flu. Oh, yeah. He said you, your eyes get red okay. and your joints are sore. Well, what if you feel like that all the time? You might have it. For you years. get tested. All right, we got to go. It's right. enough Zika talk. It is enough Zika talk. We need a, you know what? Why can't we have a doctor that's always just kind of around, like in this room? Remember the doctor in... Now um, Dr. Salmon is gone. Yeah, what about him? He's gone. That's true. What about the doctor that was in Cannonball Run that had the real long finger? Dr. Jellyfinger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why can't we have him around? Remember him, Danny? Vaguely. The guy with the crazy eye? What about Doc, Doc X? No. 
He's with Lance Armstrong, I think. All right, 635 here on the ticket. Deep Eddie Vodka's Summer Bash broke all the rules. I'm getting in that lake. No, you're not.